medley two by Elder Emmanuel Awachi. Fishes past the Che, uh, Boate on this one. Bring it to Tanda Exali, 31 past 3 o'clock. I know you're still logged on to the 3FM drive with us. This is the inspirational belt. Here with me, Giovanni Killam, DJ Faculty. And we're live on Facebook right now on uh, 3FM 92.7. 3FM 92.7. And as part of our inspirational bell today, I just want to have a quick conversation, regular convo with regular people. Except that this young lady at 23 has been called to the bar. No, she's not the youngest. One of the youngest to be called to the bar. And I know what you're thinking, eh? The bar. Giovanni, the bar. I beg you, before you get any ideas, eh? I'll tell you how far that bar is from a lot of people. <laughs> no, we bar for Jimo. <laughs> You know me bar for Jimu, you they <laughs> called to the bar here in Ghana. Should I say, oh yeah, lawyer, no no, oh yeah, lawyer, no no. Twenty three. What were you doing at twenty three faculty? I think we should save that for our children. Who we'll meets by the fireside? <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie, Alika, Mafi, Olak, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Okay, this is your first time on radio. <laughs> 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 because you didn't add the N U. <laughs> and you? And you? That's how I know this is your first time already. <laughs> but yeah, how is it feeling like? Uh, your first day at work, I, uh, yes. yes. First day at work. Yes. After being called to the bar on Friday. Mm-hmm. How is it feeling like? Paint a picture for me right now. <sighs> um, it feels surreal, but I mean, it's just more of being grateful mm. and thankful for the entire journey. Mm. And, feels like you're living your dream. That's right. Let's talk about that dream. Uh, well, what time? When? When that dream come? What happened to dreaming of venturing into other things? I mean, take us through that journey. How it's been for you even till now? Hmm. I've had an interesting educational life okay. um, or journey. Mm-hmm. I went to mm, primary, mm. JHS, SHS, mm. got into the university to read law. Mm. Now, the interesting thing about this law thing is mm-hmm. after the university, you have to make sure you get into the law school. I mean, Makola. Okay. Which is quite an activity mm-hmm. because it takes a lot. I mean, there are scary stories of a lot of people writing, attempting, mm-hmm. and not getting in, and you ask yourself, okay, can you do this? Mm-hmm. But well, thanks be to God, I got in and came out in two years. In two years? Yes. Uh, this one that you're rushing with the story, man. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, me take your, let me take you a little back. You know, what well, you school had your basic education where? Mm-hmm. And you Oh, okay. University Basic School, Takwa. Takwa. Okay. Yes, and then I moved to Archbishop Potter Girl Secondary nice. School, Takradi. Studied. Um, studied general arts mm, mm. with the, the options? options of literature, history, French, and oh. economics. Oh, wow. Then I moved on to Cape Coast. Looks like I keep moving further yeah, away from a... home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went to Cape Coast, mm-hmm. University of Cape Coast, to mm. study um, law, LLB. Oh, you had that for the first degree? Yes, for the first degree. Mm, and mm. then, after that, you attempt the entrance exam. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, you can't put all your eggs in one basket, mm-hmm. so you'd have to find out if you can I, arrange a plan B. I like your choice of words. <laughs> you attempt. Uh, yeah, it's not like you apply for. No, no, no. Not no. like you go to... It's not, you it's not as of right. No, Thank you. you have I to, love that. Mm. You have to partake in the exam, the mm-hmm. almighty exam. That's right. But... Aside that, you'd have to put things in place just in case things don't go as planned. Yeah. But I did. I had enrolled in a master's program, mm. which just to be safe so <laughs> that I don't get too disappointed, yes. But at the time the results came, I had done a couple of models. Oh, okay. I couldn't have stopped in the process. And so I had to combine that with my first year in law school, actual law school. No way. And so meaning you were... In oh. two institutions, can yes, I put it that way? Yes, at the same time, juggling the two. What? So yeah, I had to pull through because the number of modules I had done mm. was quite substantial, so I had mm. to continue. L- let's go back to um, you doing your... I-, I presume this was outside Ghana. Yes. The other one was outside yes. Ghana. Yes. Uh, equally very demanding. Yes. Combining that with mm-hmm. the attempts. Yes. 
No, actually, mm. this happened. Okay, yes, a, a little bit of the attempt in getting in. Okay. Now, when you attempt, you have to wait mm -hmm. for the results. Mm -hmm. While waiting, I had to enroll because I had to just play my card safe. Mm -hmm. And thank thankfully, I got in. Now, the decision to whether, I mean, as to whether to stop mm -hmm. and defer and focus on the law school was... Another. Another. So I had to pull through and juggle the two. Wait, you just turned 23. So you're telling me that you did all this from your 19, 20 years? Yes, I did. With all the distractions, you had filters to download, <laughs> post on Instagram... Well, at some point, I had to let those things go because a, I didn't have so much time. So deprive, I had to be strategic. Yeah, yes, you deprive yourself of some form of social exactly, life. Exactly, exactly. Whose exactly. idea was this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm, I'm trying to understand if this is coming from parents, personal decision, or you just thought, okay, this is it. This is what I want to get to. I mean, let me keep my eye on the ball. Is that it? So my parents played a very crucial role in this, especially mm. my dad, mm. in mm. giving me guidance and direction. Mm. So he has played a major role in this entire journey. And That's right. Yes, he kept pushing, motivating me to just finish what I started. He doesn't believe in starting something mm -hmm. you cannot finish. Once you started, you should be able to finish. That's why you started. Mm. So, I mean, you are, you are, your life is just to study, so you should be able to combine <laughs> the two worlds. You just have to be strategic and mm. get the right um, in, guidance. In any of them, uh, models uh, in your line of work? Yes, I mean... Do you have any lawyers around you, maybe family bond, anything that kept maybe you going? Maybe more every... academics, okay. but not lawyers. But mm. I mean, there are a couple of people in the legal fraternity I mm -hmm. look up to mm. who have inspired me throughout. So. Wow. Yes. Chai! Hmm, this is it, oh. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing all how you're able to combine all this uh, from the University of Cape Coast for your LLB, then move to the University of um, uh, Salford. Yes. Yeah, for your LLM in International Commercial Law. Uh, well, how was that experience like, even before we get to this call? Okay, so with that, it was very eye-opening because you get to meet different people from different parts of the world mm -hmm. and it gives you some exposure to how people think differently mm -hmm. outside of your space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're able to, you know, tap into their wealth of knowledge and experience, mm -hmm. let me just see. So mm -hmm. it was quite, yeah. What was your biggest challenge uh, during the studies? My biggest, biggest my biggest mm. challenge, I would say, is combining the two because, see, trust me, anybody who has gone through law school or is in the process of going through law school is can understand that it's very demanding. You mm. literally almost have to put a certain part of your life on hold mm. to just get through with, with it. And so having to have another, you know, Let's say extra responsibility mm -hmm. was mm. was quite quite tough. I, I can understand. I'm also looking at your resume now. You were the first female speaker of parliament for the Law Students Union at UCC, right? Yes. Which I was, was both uh, an honor and a heavy <laughs> call to duty. <laughs> so I guess maybe that's where your time management and everything else came yeah. uh, through. Okay. And then, um, uh, how about your inten internship? Yes. You had a you had a few. Oh yeah, I've had I've had um, a couple of done a couple of internships mm. in various places. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to see how the law plays out practically. That's right. On the field, yes. I like your roadmap already. I mean, this should be studied in schools. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like you have everything just planned for you. At this point of my life, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. At this point, at this stage, at this... It's it's beautiful to see. You should write a book about it, your journey. I would, right? I would, I would explore that. Yeah, yeah I, th I think you should. Uh, solid plan there. Anyway, so any advice for students currently going through law school? I know it's still very early yet, but uh, hey, every step of the way demands a celebration <laughs> you need to live the moment so any advice anything that worked for you any hack to this okay so i, I usually refrain from mm. giving advice because i want to think 
I haven't had so much experience, but I think law school is enough experience. Mm -hmm. And I'll just say, first of all, just give your all mm -hmm. to God because mm -hmm. you sometimes need some supernatural strength to pull through. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I'd say just stay focused. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you are privileged to have somebody guiding you through life, mm -hmm. the best gift you can give yourself is to listen to them and pay attention to them because there's a saying that what the older person sees while standing, mm -hmm. you can't see when you are, sorry, sitting. You can't, you can't see, see when standing. you are standing here. Yeah. Yeah. So just, just be willing to learn and go through the process mm. and focus just focus that's the only thing i want to i want to go back a little bit let's talk about some low moments do you have any time where you're like hey this thing is, you let me just wear this let me just wear is your, your gown you call it we can go. Uh, we can go let me just get there hey this route because you're human oh, and yeah. i'm sure you sometimes see some of your colleagues also living their best lives uh outside this road map of mm -hmm. yours so i mean talk about one so we know you're human at, <laughs> at some <laughs> at some point uh -huh. i felt like i was missing out on a lot of things mm. but i mean when you come to the end of the journey you realize okay you've not missed oh, so yes mm. yeah so i would say yeah there are low moments i mean sometimes you may self-doubt mm -hmm you may feel like okay you're not good enough or you have gotten to a point where you are not made for this mm. like, you know there are times where you break down mm -hmm. sometimes you just need to be encouraged spoken to mm. yes I've, I've gone through those those phases yeah and and, mm. and you you giovanni i mean ask her uh, for her age uh law school did she feel at any point intimidated by some of the older folks in her uh, courts um I, I wouldn't say intimidated because I think with my my experience or with my encounter with these older people, I'm more willing to learn from them rather than feel intimidated. I, I just have this feeling that they know something I do not know and so it's always an honor to be around them. So I'm, let's say, almost always excited to be around them rather than feeling like I'm intimidated by them. Wow. All right, man, that's beautiful. So currently you're having your pupil is that it? Yes. Pupil. So you're supposed to start for what? The next six months? Yes. And then what? And then you start, I mean, you've actually started practicing, but okay. you'd have to um, study on the job mm. for a period. And mm. then you just continue from there. There you can find out your calling specialty where you want to oh so even for now you're not done yet oh is it's, it's like being in vocational school you okay. are getting a bit of every aspect mm -hmm. just to properly fine-tune what you're interested mm -hmm. is before you can decide that okay this is what i want to do what's your interest too early uh, no nah, it's not too early i huh? think I've, I've been exposed to the commercial practice and law related stuff mm. so i think that's where my interest is. but i'm open to um, exploring other areas All right. final words and uh, maybe shouts to anyone who's been helpful on this journey yeah i would say first of all my big my biggest shout out is to god mm. <laughs> he has been my strength right. from from day one mm. you know all the low moments mm. yeah and second out like to thank my parents especially my dad mm. for i feel the man is heaven sent <laughs> and Angel on earth, eh? divine yes because sometimes his guidance and his instructions you may not understand at the time but mm. it always comes 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 out beautifully so mm. i just want to say thank thank you to him and his support his his prayers to my brother who has been there usually during the low moments? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Owen. <laughs> yeah, I want to say mm. thank you to him. Mm. Thank you to my friends. My friend um, Achudogbe. He's he's been a really, really, really supportive friend. Mm. Helped me throughout, even when I had to juggle both worlds. Mm -hmm. He was there to Kezia, to Jennifer. They've been there. They've been. They've been. They've been there for me, and That's I'd right. like to say thank you. Thank you to my mom mm. too, and all my lecturers, my teachers, everybody who has played a role in this mm -hmm. journey and contributed to making it look beautiful. Thank you to them. All right.
right. Stephanie Afi Ulaku Esquire. Thank you very much for spending your Monday here with us. We wish you well on this journey. One of the youngest lawyers here uh, called to the bar here in Ghana. Beautiful words there, and we're just hoping that some of these things will inspire you. And it's never too late, yeah? I think you are 32. She's 23. Maybe your own will come about 43. 33. Faculty, don't give up. Don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. <laughs> the free FM drive continues. Fire!